Scott Dush, Joey Moss with Bad Boy MTG, and today we're going to be busting open some mystery magic crates. I know it's crazy. What is up inside of one of these we'll get to in one moment. What is it? Well, you can visit mysterymtg.com and find out more information or basically what I'm looking at right here. This is just one of the items they offer. Uh, monthly mystery packs premium. Uh, this is the one we're going to be opening all nine. We're going to be opening nine. That's the max you can go here. For the monthly, you could do three, et cetera, et cetera. If you subscribe, you get a little bit of savings, $29.70 then a month, get 10% off. But what is it? Okay, here's the description. And this is kind of neat, I thought. Description, d, d promotion. Each time you purchase, we will roll a D20 in office. And if you hit a natural 20, we will throw an additional Double Masters booster pack into your order. Not bad. But how do I believe you? That is ridiculous. There's no possible way. No chance. No one out of their right mind would do something like that and actually be honest about it. If you want your order opened live, make sure to include that in your order notes. The D20 will be rolled prior to unpacking. How about that? They will roll it live. With the three pack option, we are sending out at least one master's set pack. With the six, two, with the nine, three. They are going to be sending me a three. Master's packs uh, we have right here. I'm going to be cracking this in just one moment. Um, here's all the master's packs you could possibly get out of here. Looks like they got some pretty big hits. They even qualified Time Spell Remastered on the list, which I think that does qualify as a master's pack. And then the premium packs listed below. You got uh, Ice Age, Urza's Legacy. I would die if we opened Urza's Legacy or Exodus. That'd be really cool. Luck be on my side. We shall see. Theros Collectors, Ikoria Collectors, Morning Tide, wow, Apocalypse. I don't remember, I don't think I've ever opened Apocalypse before. It might be the ones that I never opened. Maybe. Uh, Forgotten Realms Collector, way on the bottom here. Uh, Odyssey, Alliances, Tempest, Conspiracy, Ravnica, Guilds, Magic Origins, Gatecrash, Jumpstart. The list goes on and on and on. The sets are cur curated monthly. We take out the least popular sets and let customers vote on what sets they want to see. Have a set you like that isn't on the list, send us an email. Really, really neat. It looks like they got pretty good, uh, wow, that's, that's really good ratings. Yeah, um, only 15% is four stars, barely any three, two, and one. There's always going to be someone who is dissatisfied. That's life, you know. I didn't get an alpha booster pack. We don't even offer that. Yeah, one star, you know. So uh, five stars, 78%, and four stars. So that's pretty high, you know. They're, they're batting in the 90, uh, what was it, 93%? 93%. I'd say four and five is all positive right there. So that's pretty good um, for a place that ships out booster packs and stuff. They also offer other items. Uh, there's commander products and stuff like that as well. Check out their website. Again, that's mysterymtg.com. Let's get into Kraken. See what all the heck is inside of here. I have dealt with them once before, and uh, I believe we had a good experience with them that time. Uh, and this time's probably going to be no different. So let's get to Kraken, Cap. Let's bust open these nine packs, see what they gave us. I want that juice. Show me the meaning of getting value, skadoosh. Let's see if we can find some juice up in here, baby. Also, we have a, a Commander's Fury Crate, which I think specializes in singles and stuff as well. We're going to open that in a separate video. Right now, I just want to focus on this. Uh, both of them excited to open. I think the Commander's Fury, I might be a little more excited to open. So here we go. Well, here's how it rocks, huh? Here's how it rocks. Oh, juicy, juicy. Oh, hot diggity dogs. Okay, 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 okay. Um, There we go. What is this? Some stuff. Is this shipping on here? i got to pull it back for a second. Uh, Mystery MTG. Replacing duplicate... MH2, IKO, uh, Ikoria, collector pack, replacing duplicate MH2. Okay, okay. No! Almond Kit's the only one I really didn't want to see. But then again, if we pull something juicy, who knows? Okay, this is going to be fun. Let's see what all we get out of here. I like just getting, ra just getting random booster packs in the mail. Like, that's freaking sweet, man. You know? Like, if I were to get this every single month, that'd be awesome. I might even subscribe to this. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. Just so I have something, like, just to randomly open every month. Okay, let's see what we get out of here. We got ourselves the Blade Kenra. Give me some juice, baby. This set is not my... This is probably my least favorite set was Amonkhet. Um, and Hour of Devastation. I just cannot stand either of them. Aven Mind Sensor. That's not a bad card, though. We'll take it. That's not a, it's not a bad card. Okay. Aven Mind Sensor. There you go. Planes and no big master hit. Okay. Now we have Diarrhea. Do not pay 200 bucks a box for this. I'll tell you that right now. 
It's not worth 200 bucks a box for Dominaria. Not even freaking close, Billy. All right, we have ourselves the Feral Abomination. Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This has happened before, though. I was going to question them for a minute, but this has happened before. Um, I remember opening packs where they were upside down and stuff. Triumph of Gerard. Not a fan of Gerard. Ship's Caretaker, Weatherlight. We did get a Mythic, though, nonetheless. It's all complete random, you know, like the luck that we will have here. I actually have, um, I want to say, 20 to 40 Weatherlights. I specced on them. I was stupid. It's a, it's not even a good card. They need to make something that like can make the Weatherlight better. Here, I'll just show you what it does really quick. Flying. Whenever Weatherlight deals combat damage to a player, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a Historic card from among them and put it into your hand. Historic would be, I, th I believe it's Legendary or uh, Artifact, um, if I'm not mistaken. Put the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. Artifacts, Legendaries, and Sagas are, are Historic. Oops, it says right there. Cree, crew for three. It has to actually deal combat damage. That's the crappy part. I mean, if you're actually getting through for combat damage to a player, you know, with a freaking cart, you're probably going to end up beating him eventually anyway. So, I mean, it's not bad, but, man, they could have made the crew cost two or something, and this card would still see some, some decent play, you know? It would be decent at that point. Now we have Ikoria. I love Ikoria Lair of Behemoths. One of my favorite sets. Um, the token, yeah, the token's up front like that? I didn't think, I thought the token was always in the back. Maybe that's old times. Maybe I'm just getting old. 19 years old. What are you going to do? All right, let's see what we get here, guys. Oh, these feel so good. They feel so smooth. So juicy smooth. Okay. We're making piles here, fellas. Making piles and piles of aisles. Barrier. Barrier breach. Forest. Ooh. Oh, we got a shark, dude. Is that a good card, the shark, dude? Oh, it's a mythic. Look at that. Shabraz the Sky Shark. Partner with Braylon. Uh, Braylon. Sky Shark Rider flying whenever you draw a card. Put a plus one, plus one counter on Shabraz, the Sky Shark, and you gain one life. Target human gains flying until end of turn. You make a human fly because he's eating you. Like he has you in his mouth as he flies away with you. You die. Lutri, the Spell Chaser, so good it was banned within like the first two weeks uh, that it saw competitive play. It was like, we'll see ya. There's Lutri. Oh, Quartzwood Crasher. Fun card. I have made decks with this card, and it is a freaking hoot. I'll tell you that. So, Court Crasher, come on, give me that value deal. That's not value. Okay. Archie Galore. We got this, dude. We're going to put these. I guess you can go here. Duh. Oh, Brokos, Apex of Forever. Cool, cool. Not the most sought after one. It's not the Godzilla, but it's uh, that 70s bush. You know what I'm saying? All right, there. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. Time to trim the hedges. All right, and then we have... Oh, cool. So we got a Godzilla in the end. I think you always get a Godzilla, though. Uh, Angoros Armored Killer, which is pretty fun. All right. Uh, that was not a terrible pack, but not that great of a pack either. So we will stick with that. Yeah, you can go here and you can go over here. We are pulling Mythics, though, baby. On to Ultimate Masters. Oh, man. Pull some fire out of here. Can we, Billy? Come on. If you guys made it this far into the video, I want you to tell me the story I read right here. I'm just a worm, just a silly old germ. I'm convicted of all the crimes I've done because I never learn. I've been around the sovereigns of Lost Alara, and I believe that I'm scared, but I don't care because I'm spawning some spiders in my underwear. I just want you to tell me that. Reviving Vapors. <laughs> Chainer's Edict. That's a good card. Uh, not bad. Okay. And then the rest is just common. We might get a decent hit here. Nope. Okay. So out of that, we got Sovereigns of Lost Alara. I remember pulling the foil of this um, in OG Alara. Pretty cool. Okay. Moving along. Moving along, my friends. What else we got here? Iconic Masters. Iconic Masters. Let's pull some fire. Time to kick the tires and light the fires. Come on, Iconic. Do me good. Ooh, Thought Sour. Thought Scour. The feeling on these magic cards. Can you smell it? <sighs> that Iconic was using the old stuff. What is this? Evolving Wilds. I like the art on it. Land, tap, sacrifice, Evolving Wilds. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it on the battlefield. Tap and shuffle your library. Oh, <laughs> that is busted. That must be the first time they've ever printed this card. The land is ever resilient. Should it die, it will be reborn. Oh, man, that is epic text. This card seriously is busted beyond belief. 
Wizards are going to have to ban this thing. That's freaking sweet. Holy crap. That goes in the awesome pile. You go in the mythic pile. Wow. I can't believe that. Okay, Distortion Strike. Now, this card, this has been printed a bunch. I've seen this before. Distortion Strike. Legit. Followed by Surreal Memoir. Boros Garrison. Come on. Shake and bake, baby. Shake and bake. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. We'll take an Ancestral Vision. We'll take an Ancestral Vision. It has lost some value, though. It's like three, four bucks now. Son of a biscuit. And Dirkwood Balif. Oh. What is that on the bottom right right there? The artist. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's the signature right there. Little D. D's not. Okay. Uh, moving along, guys. Moving along. So our packs have been kind of dudly right now. Um, I'm not even going to lie. Oh, hot diggity damn. New Phyrexia. Now that is a juicy freaking pack if I've ever seen one. All right. Haven't opened New Phyrexia in a while. This is going to be fun. Okay. Okay. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in it to win it, baby. I'm, can I, I, I never opened a pack before. Okay. Here we go. Rotted hysteria. Hysterix. Okay. One of my favorite artworks. Look at that. Playing with her ball of yarn. She is so cute. Toxic Nim. This was the set with all the Phyrexian stuff going on, in case you guys didn't know by the name. Chained Throat Seeker. Oh, baby. Harvest. All right. Viridian Harvest. Spire Monitor, Razor Swine, Lost Leonin. Leonin is just always floating about in, in different decks. I didn't realize Leonin had an infect card, but she does. There, there you go. Or he does, whatever. Spine Thopter. Spine Thopter. Morrow Shards. There you go. Mind Calling. It's very cool art. Very cool art. Creepy art. Dismember. Bada bing. Mm, give me that OG Dismember. That's a nice pull right there. Beautiful, beautiful card. Chancellor of Annex. Okay, nothing crazy. Nah, that's not bad. That's a, that, that's, I'll take this hit over a lot of others. Probably one of the top 10 most valuable cards in the entire set. So I will definitely take the Chancellor of Annex without a freaking doubt. It's a dollar. Son of a Here, can we get some juice? A uh, forest. No, we can't get any juice. That doesn't even match the symbol. Okay, moving along, moving along. That was, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was okay. That was okay. Oh boy, let's. Uh, we're gonna save that for later. Okay, okay. We got Rivals of Ixalan. Rivals of Ixy with the Divine Verdict. Okay, please just just give me um give me a Phoenix. Let's get a Phoenix Mythic out of here, huh? Uh, River Wise Augur, Imperial Silver Adept, not bad. Silver Gill Adept, Silent Gravestone, Absolute Dumpster Fire right there. Mm hmm. See someplace somewhere. No one knows where though. Foil Island. Another island and a treasure token. Hmm. Jumpstart. Okay, we could get something really cool out of here. We could we could get a freaking sweet hit, man. We could get a sweet hit out of here. Please be big, be big. Ugh, devilish. Uh-oh, that's probably one of the crappiest ones, huh? I think it is. I was hoping for goblins or something. <laughs> something for something good, you know? All right, devilish. Got Hellrider. woo do doo All right. And then we got Sin Prodder. That's about all you get out of Devilish. Uh, some of this. The, the card stock feels phenomenal, though. I'll tell you that. It just feels amazing. Hobble Boy, Active Trees, and some of this, some of that. Thriving Bluff and the Mountain. That is cool mountain art. Okay. That sums it up for that pack. Last but not least, Modern Horizons 2, The Old Draft. Would have been better with a collector pack. Would have felt good. That Phyrexia pack's probably expensive, though. All right, let's see what else. Let's see what else we got here. Chatterstorm, come on, give me something good. Let's just shake and bake the whole freaking town, okay? Slagger, blossoming cosm. Said, done, ding, dern, dang it. Um, what else? Come on, be big, be big. That's not big. That's an uncommon. What here? Oh, Bray as apprentice. That has to be the worst card ever printed. Ether Sworn Sphinx. Well, I'll tell you what. We absolutely bombed uh, terribly. So this would have been disappointing, but it is complete luck of the odds. I mean, what are you going to do? This, yeah, this, I'd be crying right now. I'd be I got $20 in value. Son of a biscuit. Someone add it up. How much value did we get? <laughs> Go to tcgplayer.com, market value pricing. I want to see how much value we got. Add it up. Oh, man. This was bad. But the product, uh... What do I think of the product itself? I, I think it's cool. 
you got to remember when you're opening older packs, a lot of people don't realize this. You are just throwing away, throwing away money the second you open that pack. So if you keep these sealed, I mean, the value is there. You know, you can just hoard this stuff. But if you're one of those guys like me and you just get these itches, man, you just got to open booster packs. Now, this is probably for you. All right. I love it. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm Joey Moss. Give him a check. Ma uh, mystery, uh, MTG .com, uh, the Magic Mystery Crates. And uh, don't forget, we're going to be cracking this open at some time. Skadoosh.